Okay. Now that I've got there and dragged the colours backwards and forwards, it's time to lay in the next layer of the hairs. Most people would get there and do that using pastel pencils. It's an easy way to do it. I don't like doing things easily. I always work with the sticks in any circumstance I can. Working with the stick to produce very fine details does take a lot of time and effort. But at the end of the day it's a skill that can't be substituted. and the results do shine through in the final work. I just get there and work on the main dark areas of where the light is running through. From that point, I can just get there and begin to sculpt. Once again, our mid-tones, this time working with a burnt umber. The umbers in the skin is pretty much and play a massive part in my palette. They're the hardest workers that I have. Umber more so because the skin in normal has a bit too much warmth for a lot of circumstances. Another reason why I like using the stick to produce Things such as a lion's mane. It adds to that roughness. If you've ever paid attention when you've been at the zoo, you, you would have noticed that while they do look very well groomed and manicured, the hair on a lion is actually very rough and coarse. Perfect to produce with pastel. when you work back into those greens. You don't want to disturb the surface too much. Only to help blend it. As you'll see, little flecks will be pulled through. Just gets caught on the edge of the pastel. Wiping it back regularly is always a good idea. Tea towels generally a fairly useful thing to have on your side. I tend to work a bit messier than other people, so whatever's at hand will normally get covered in pastel dust. Daddy.